Good morning. How are you today? Um, I know it's a little scary to see a 72-year-old face in the morning, but we're going to change all that. First, I'm going to start with my moisturizer and my tanning drops, which are wonderful. They do not have the stink of your normal tanning drops. This is the first I've used this spring, so I've got to get ready to go to Mexico, you know? One, two, three, four, however many drops you put on, depends on what the intensity of the um, tan is that you want, are going for. It will not show up right away, but it will show up. And I will, I could do this like today and then um, I can do it. And if I could do a little couple drops every day, whatever you would like. And it is important to blend. So we have a nice kabuki brush. We have a little tanning bit as well blend these little corners you don't want any corners and blend around your hairline so there we go important to wash it off it works <laughs> you don't want to have tan palms of your hands so i'm going to wash that off okay i've got to let that dry just for a second yikes yikes i am going to do double duty with my red my aspen set which is our um translucent powder oh it did this the other day Tap a little bit into the, oops, into the lid. And just fluff it on your brush. I'm gonna do it to start because I'm gonna be putting powders on my face and I just put cream all over my face. So I want it to be powdered. I do have a powder foundation that I use, but I didn't bring it out. Um, so I'm going to use our Aspen set to put a powdery finish on my face. And this is amazing. You can do it to set your makeup when you're all done, which I probably will also do as well. All right, we are ready to put a powdered product on. I have a cheek. I didn't bring my, she brought my bronzer out. Oh, well, can I only do so many things? And I'm in a rush because I have a rehearsal at 11 o'clock with some men from our choir. And I'm just gonna put a little on my cheeks for some color and I can blend it, blend it a little bit in with my blending brush. I like to put just a little bit on here for a little life. Then I'm gonna go with my um, my eyeshadow palette. This is the um, Berry Playful. All these lovely neutral berry colors. You take your lighter color, our um, L-O-V-E, light, uh, light whoa, what is something, the playing field. Uh, Level, level the playing field. Make sure you get, I have, I have like shadows in my eyes. So this levels the playing field. Oh, do a little ombre in your crease. Especially if you have hooded eyes, it gives the illusion that you have a crease instead of the hood. Especially bring it out so that you can see it on the hooded part of your eye like that. And we're gonna do that ombre. And then the V, take your darkest shade and make a little outer V, L-O-V. We're on the V, a V shape right here. And we're gonna blend all that in. A V, I can do this so fast. Some people take forever. Oh, I, yeah, they take forever. Anyway, um, and the V, E, enhance. This is a little metallic shimmery color and I'm gonna use my fingertip. And don't be afraid if you are older, the old wives tale was that um, you, should not wear shimmery or glimmery or glittery colors um, when you should. <laughs> I do better with a regular mirror. I should have had one elevated. Oh, that's not going to work either. Oh, this isn't the right thing. <laughs> Can't put a lip liner on my eyes. Hello. 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 Get a line your eye, upper lid. And other side, please say hello if you are here, if you're watching the replay, put hashtag replay and we'll check on you later. I like to do a little bit in the outer corner, accentuate that little V area. And I was told a long time ago by um, actually a Mary Kay person. Uh, I used to sell Mary Kay. Oh, I forgot to blend. We're gonna blend this all in here that you do not want to line 
totally inside because it will close up your eyes. This way it leaves it open. So we have that much. Um, let's see, what do we got next? We've got, oh, I'm gonna put a little bit more of the Aspen set because, what did I do? Oh, there it is. Um, because I just put some eyeshadow on. I'm gonna set that and then I'm pumping up Maggie Mascara. Mascara, lips, and done. That's my daytime look. I also forgot to do my eyebrows, and my eyebrow product is in. We have nice eyebrow pencils and such. Maggie is on special now. Buy two, get one free. And if you know mascaras, you know that you probably should be changing them every three months or so, three to six months, so they don't dry out, clump, or get bacteria in there, or whatever. So this this way you're set for nine months, no, almost a whole year of mascara for the price of two. Should really have had, oh, here I have a closer mirror. Here we go. Much better. Move just bueno. Yes, I see because I was looking in there, I didn't quite connect my lines. I like to do just a little across the bottom there. It's amazing how you do a poor job when you're in front of your phone. <laughs> what a riot. Okay, we got some eyes done. Now we gotta do lips. We have lovely lip liners um, in lots of different colors and Make a V in your upper lip at your little Cupid's bow. They call it Cupid's bow. Connect that to the corner of your mouth. I'm gonna go here, it's closer. Corner of your mouth and this side, corner of your mouth and make a short little line in the center. Connect those dots to the corner What I love about our lip liners is they do not bleed. When you're um, an older woman and you have these little lines, I never smoked, but I still got the lines. Look at me. Um, it doesn't bleed into the lines. You've seen people with lipstick that goes like that and our lip gloss too. This is uh, Canna Lily. I love this. This is a nice neutral for every day. I see someone's watching. Tell me who you are. Our lip gloss is nourishing and moisturizing, has hyaluronic acid in it, which is all the rage. Also our powders, there's no talc. Um, we are, thank goodness for blowers, right? Hi Cindy, how are you? I'm about done here. Woo. It's finally nice enough we can have our windows open, so I'm pretty happy about that. Anyway, here we are. I will give you a more better after shot once I get my eyebrows down. But we do have um, an eye eyebrow pencil and um, primer. and No, yeah, and primer and then uh, over the wax thing to set it in place. So I hope you're all having a lovely day, and um, thank you for watching, and I will post... All of these products, these are the nails we put on the other day. I will post what all of these products are below. Have a great day. Bye-bye.